If you were trying to troubleshoot a system where the issue is that it seems to be having performance issues, it's running slowly, you can use a tool that Microsoft has built into Windows 11 called the Performance Monitor. So let's take a look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm click on Start, and I'm just gonna type in Performance. And as soon as I start typing it, you see it takes me to the Performance Monitor. So let's go ahead and open up this application. And I'm gonna blow it up as big as it can be so that we can see what we have going on here. Now again, this is a basic troubleshooting course. I will tell you that there are other things we can deal with data collector sets and reports. But what I want to show you is specifically under monitoring tools, the performance monitor. Now by default, when you first open up the performance monitor, if you haven't done anything with it, what you will find is that there is one item that is being monitored. And by the way, the item is referred to as a counter. Okay, and the counter is the percent processor time. It's listed down here at the bottom. Percent processor time, it's a red line, and you'll notice that I have this little squiggly red line. Now it's not going very far. You can see that even if I just shake the mouse around, sometimes I can get a small little spike. Or let's say I do something like, let's go ahead and let's see if I can get it to open up here. Let's go ahead and open up browser window. I'm not even gonna browse anything. Just gonna open it up, close the browser window. Come back here to the performance monitor. Look at that. Now we have a bigger spike. Now you don't really need to worry about these individual spikes. Right, that's, that's normal. As you are doing things on the system, the processor is gonna go ahead and get utilized. All right, and it, it may seem like, wow, it spiked to almost 50%. I mean, I'd have to actually look at what the exact amount is, but if it spiked to almost 50% specifically because we opened the browser, oh my goodness, that sounds horrible. No, not really. That's actually pretty normal. What you do wanna watch out for is seeing everything just maxing out up at the top. Now, there are many other counters that we can look at, right? This is just the default one that we have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the plus button up at the top to add another counter. And I wanna show you that on this system, there are a whole lot of counters we can add. Okay, first of all, there's a whole huge list of high level areas. So like, here's the processor. But if I expand it, look at all the different options that we can look at within the processor. Okay. Or maybe we want to look at, let's scroll up here and look at memory. We could look at all the other options for memory. So let's say we want to do like page reads per second. So I'm going to highlight that one and I'm going to click on add. And then I'll click OK. Now it looks like nothing happened because we're still only seeing the red line and down at the bottom, we only see the red line. And this is where I think there is a flaw in the interface. If I scroll, you're just gonna see me scroll on the mouse button here. Now it shows me there's another counter, page reads per second. And look at that, it's almost the same color red. Well, that's a little ridiculous. So if I highlight it and I right click and I go to its properties, I could tell it, you know what? Let's pick a different color so it stands out, right? So maybe I take this, I don't know what color you'd call that. Maybe it's like an aqua green, blue, something or other, and I click OK. So now I have page reads per second is in that color, and the processor time is in red. And you can also now see when you look at the chart, and I don't know if you'll be able to see depending on what system you're looking at, there is a light blue line that's going up there, OK? And you could continue to add as many of these as you want. And let's say I didn't want processor time there anymore. Well, there's a couple things I could do. One, I could clear the checkbox saying don't show it. Now it goes away. Now you only see that blue line. The other thing I can do if I just don't care about processor time at all is I can click the red X while highlighting on it. And it completely eliminates it so that only the memory page reads per second is showing. So again, I don't want to go into any more details showing you more counters and this and that. I just want you to know that this is kind of the basic introduction into performance monitoring 
to be able to see all the different areas of performance and take a look at it. And I will tell you that if you do get into server management and things like that, you then take this information to a whole new level with creating data collector sets and reports. But this is a quick way to just look at a, what is about a, I think it's about a two minute window in time that you can see here through the performance monitor itself.